Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the authentication system with AWS Cognito in Angular. So in the previous video, I have just give you the recap of how the registration login and the details are working. Uh, if there is a full short recap of that tutorials we have seen in the previous video. Now, this is the implementation part now, then we are going to do with the registration part. Okay, so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first we will do the registration part. So register. Okay, so we will do the registration part. So first we add the email. So I will add the Rajni Kant. Five at the rate millinator.com. Okay, then we require the password, require the name, <coughs> technical Raj, and phone number you need to add. You can add and just register and the verify. First, we will do the registration part. Okay, <coughs> then OTP comes. First, we check the user is registered in the Cognito or not. So, here we have the pool. So, let's go back to that one. And here we can see that Rajni Gant, it's which is the email ID of that one, 55. Okay. And if you go to that one, back to the inbox, and here I will add the 55, you will receive the email verification code, right? And here we have the users also. So Rajnikan 55. It's which email is 55, right? So let's search it. No, with the email address. Okay, you can see Rajnikan 55 unconfirmed. Okay, so the confirmation part we will do in the next video. First, we do the registration part. So all the details, technical Raj, my phone number is there, right? So let's dive into the code level, how we are going to implement that one. Okay, so I will show you the full-fledged code structure of mine, how I have created. <clears throat> okay, this is the source app. Okay, so let me expand this one. Okay, then we have a source, then we have a auth, okay, then we have auth, then we have a login components, okay, then we have OTP verification, then we have a registration. So we are working on the registration part. So here we have the registration component.css, okay, registration component.html. So basically, this is the HTML part that we are saying that the username, password, so the registration form. So we are using the Angular material UI, okay, so according to it, it, it has the values. So this is input and this is first email, password, then we have a name, then we have a phone number. Okay, then there is a register and the verify OTP section. Okay, you can see that, right? Then we have the register component.ts. This is the main, <coughs> right? So first we have the Angular core, auth service, Angular route, material dialog box and the OTP verification screen that we are clicking on the submit button. So it pop up with the OTP screen, right? So these are the things. Then we have the register component. So email, password, name, and the phone number and the OTP all are blank by default. Okay, then this is a constructor with the O service. Okay, so auth service basically what we have, I will show you auth service. So basically it's AWS Cognito that we are using, right? They have the service. So we are using the user pool ID, client ID. So how to get this user pool ID and the client ID, I will show you. So whatever you have a cognito if i go to that cognito so this is basically your user pool id and if you want to client client id you have to go with the app integrations right and here you will get the client id so just copy this one and paste it over here okay after this you have to publish this is amazon cognito identity co so this is validation part okay cognito user pool so it will take the pool data okay and by the help of this user pool, we will fetch the details. Okay. So first part is register a new user with the Cognito. We require the email, password, and the name and the phone number. So here we have a registration part. If I go to my previous one, that is register register component. So this is register one. Okay. So this is register. This auth service. So we are calling the auth service. Which function? Register function. So if I click on this register function, so it will direct to the register one. So it requires email, password, name, and the phone number. Okay. So attribute list would be like empty by default. Then we are pushing the name. Then we are pushing the phone number. Okay. And this is this dot user pool sign up. That is a cognitive function. So email, password, and the attribute list we have to send. 
okay if anything goes wrong it will reject that one else it will resolve the problems okay and return you the user okay if i go back so here we have the registration part so we are sending the email password name and the phone number then in the then we are using the dialog so we are opening the otp verify component okay you can see that dialog open otp verify component width is to be 300 pixels okay then here we are sending the instance email that is this dot email we are sending the email okay to that otp screen if any, anything goes wrong then it will show you there that registration error okay so this is the registration part right so i will show you the how the auth service i have shown you and um, let's go to the app routing module also so this is my routing module where we have otp screen register screen login auth guard auth activate route okay so here we have a login register otp and the home screen right so this is the routing part then we have a app module.ts so here we have the all the components math card app routing and here we have the forms also that is very important okay otherwise let's show you the error that forms then in the declaration login register otp and the home component and in the imports we have the mat card mat toolbar so this is the our angular part okay that we have import then the providers we have a auth service and the auth card and the bootstrap we have a app component okay so this is that component files any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section i hope you clear on the registration how we do the registration process in the aws cognito angular in the next video we are doing the otp verification screen okay so thank you so much for watching this video have a great day